guys, Lloyd Garmadon fan here, and today I'm back to review the Temple of Resurrection. Uh, this set, look, is amazing. I mean, definitely, guys, if you're gonna get one set already, already, just get it. Um, but I need to speed this along, because obviously only 15 minute max. Um, so without further ado, let's just get on to, uh, that was not supposed to be the little baby. Um, let's just get on to looking at the minifigs. Okay, so first up we have Lloyd. Um, I did just show you him in my Night Ninja Nightcrawler set review. But in this one he comes with shoulder pads and his swords. Uh, I don't know why he comes with swords because he shouldn't have them. But I think it's just so that they can add to more of the detail on the back. Because all the ninja have them. Um, but yeah, he does look very, very nice. Um, definitely a fan of the new suits. I was very sceptical at first. But I very much do like them. Um, so to get off the hood, obviously... Why every single time today? Every single minifig. Let's try to take off. No way. Oh my God. Okay, um, I'm just gonna spin the hood around. Um, so you can see his grin there. And then in the back, he's happy. And when I say grin, I mean like angry grin, not grin. Um, but I have, if you wanna see a more in depth look at the back of him as well, as you can see, he's got the texture as well. But if you wanna see the back of him, I would go check out my Ninja Night Quarter set review. It's so let's get on to Cole. And here is Cole. Um, I'm going to angle him so you can see. He does have the printing as well. Um, obviously his robes are very, very nice. Very movie inspired as well. Um, but it does look nice. But yeah, Cole does look very, very nice. Um, I do definitely like this. Um, he's the only one with a non-inverted hood. Um, it's actually gold on the minifig. But it's, I mean, gold in the movie up here. But now it's um, orange, which does look nicer, definitely. Um, obviously, he's sleeveless to keep it in tie with the movie um, and for the new suits. Um, but <laughs> the old the old voice is cast his back, so that's all good. Um, his hammer, obviously, carried over. And his um, sword holder, obviously, for the shoulder pad. Um, I don't, I'm not going to keep the swords on him, I don't think. I might, I might not. But um, let's just go on to... Sorry about that, guys. Very very sorry about that. Um, well, let's just get on to looking at the baby quickly. So I'm just going to um, move Cole back since we actually do need him. Uh, the baby is very cute. Um, hello, Maleficent. My, no, no. Hang on, guys. Honestly, guys, I haven't me off. Um, no movie reference there. Uh, so here's the baby, and it's super cute. The head is so small. I'm not even going to bother trying to take it off. My thumbs up. Um, but yeah, it's so cute. Um, but what they say, show you on the box is if you take Cole. I'm just going to, yeah. Um, if you take off his shoulder armor. And you can replace it with the baby sack. The baby on the back. Not sure why. Um, when, if it's all garment on. Uh, since they, or since they were someone wouldn't really want to carry it, um, who knows? Um, but yeah, I it, it is kind of hard to get Cole to actually have it on here. The baby has to like lean out of it for his hood to be attached all the way. Um, but I'm not going to keep him like this, so I'll put the old things back on. So uh, yeah, let's go on to the next one. But quickly, let's look at Cole's face. Um, so here he has just a general angry expression, and on the back he's more happy. Um, very like. This is the least changed from the movie, um, because he still stayed the same. But let's get on to the next movie. Okay, so here we have Princess Harumi, which is definitely going to be Lloyd's love interest, I can tell you that. Um, the hood, the cape is very nice with the popped collar going around. Uh, the Nice to see the Lady Iron Dragon hairpiece used again. Um, of course, it's remoulded, but still. Uh, her robes are very nice. Um, her kabuki face paint, I guess it would be, but we do know in the show she does take that off. Maybe we'll get another minifig of her in the minifig series with her, like, suit thing that she's wearing when she has a different hairstyle. And that. Um, the cape does look kind of weird when the shine comes through, but she is exclusive to this set, same as Cole and Lloyd with the shoulder pads. Um, but I'm just going to try and spin this round. Yeah, there you go. I don't want to take it off. Um, but she has got a hood there on the back, so we shall see what she does wearing a hood. Why she's wearing a hood. Um, but yeah guys, I think that's pretty much it for Princess Harumi, so let's go on to the next minifig. Here is Hutchins, um, 
he had a golden staff just because helmet very nice eye patch face print is nice um robes that lloyd would probably wear actually um shoulder piece here we do know that he does take the shoulder piece and the helmet off um but not much to talk about i wish there was something on the middle of the waist here and just make it look less weird um but yeah who knows who knows um, but yeah, let's just move on to the next minifig, since he doesn't have a second face, and neither does Harumi. Um, so yeah, let's just move on to the next one. Here is Mr. E. If you want a more in-depth look at him, have check out my Street Racer Snake Jaguar set review. Um, he does look very nice. Um, I do like it. Uh, the mask obviously lifts up, makes it look red under the eyes, even though they are kind of red, but they are white as well. So, uh, red swords... Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for Mr. E, so let's go on to the last, here is the last minifig, aka Chopper Maroon. Um, so, here he is, uh, looks nice, and the mohawk used from, from, um, it was Mr. T, yeah, from the A-Team. Um, <coughs> oh, there we go, sorry about that. Um, it does look nice. Uh, the Garmadon thing, I'll probably just quickly remove it. I want to get it so I can show you there we go it's a leather jacket with like spray paint on it um that's also what you're wondering and so the gun will spray paint on the back um but yeah that's pretty much it for the minifig so let's get on to the set okay guys so here is the set itself um it's a little hard to see but down there we're gonna start off um you can see there is hmm, I should do this I oh, don't know um hang on guys okay. Okay, so let's look at the bottom, um, as you can see there's nice trees and lanterns, a uh, nice red carpet walkway, and these fold out to reveal a spider, with a leg and a crystal underneath, and a um, bat with a skeleton there. Uh, there's teeth here, there's some size there, and then other than that it just leads into the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin it around so we can have a look at the inside. Um, there's some walkways here, I don't know why. Um, but as you can see down there, I'll zoom in so you guys get a better look at that, that area. Um, as you can see, there's a gun on poster there with him looking over, no idea what that could be. Uh, here is a pot that has a zoom out. Um, it doesn't have a zoom out, obviously. Um, but inside is a Minecraft piece from the Minecraft, mini, from the Minecraft series. And... Some weird green elixir. So, find out what that's all about when the season actually premieres, because we do know that Garmadon is coming back officially. Um, looking at this side, because it's pretty much all the interesting part for all the other side. Now, this is, this post is more interesting, in my opinion. Uh, the three only masks are uniting to form Garmadon, so that's pretty cool. And then in this one, we just have, in this bucket, we just have the two weapons that you could use. I don't know, maybe for Harumi and Hutchins. Or whoever whoever needs some extra weapons. So let's just move up to the next level. Just quickly before we move on, I just wanted to show you these really nice flags. Uh, they are very nice. Um, but yeah, we're gonna move on to the next level now. Okay, so here we are on the next level. Um, as you can see, there's a mar there's the mask of deception. I think it is. Yes. Um, and some weapons next to it. There's some banner detailing here. It is is on the other side. Um, but yeah, there is another minifig that you will see later on when I show you the action feature. Um, but just to show you, there's some pieces here, some gold there. Um, but what you can do is... Secret way to show off that you actually have all the masks. I've had no problem with the purple one at the moment, as of the time of this recording. But I do have three purple ones, two red ones, and two orange ones. Because they are pretty easy to get hold of, if I'm honest. Um... They're all in mm, cheap-ish sets, I guess. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it for the details and style and texture of the set. There is one thing I forgot to show you guys, and that is right there. So what you can do is, I'm just going to spin this around and make it a little easier. Um, you can place a minifig, take off those accessories, um, keep them balanced, and then drop them through. Uh, that is achieved by that's achieved by this piece. You just pull it out and it drops. 
and it's the same thing on the other side. Pull it out, drop, so you can do that to two enemies if you want. I'm actually gonna do that. Um one. It is annoying to get them to balance because you can't have them standing on studs, obviously. Otherwise they will wreck it. Um Okay, so ready. And sorry about the moving, I just have to. Okay, so Mr. D, <laughs> I just flipped up Mr. E. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much that feature. So let's get on to the main feature of the set. Okay, guys, so this is where the spoilers will kick in. Um, so if you do not want to be spoiled by this review, then go away. Because this is the moment in the set where it can be spoiled for you. So, you have all the masks. They're all there. Um, you open down here. You open these up, just because, I don't know why, but you do. And then... I'm going to push up back here and okay guys it's just if you're worried about spoilers click off now because I'm about to spoil whoops and I just fell um I'm about to spoil everything for the season ready okay there you go it becomes it resurrects Lord Garmadon himself yes the big boy is back the main villain of Ninjago, um, season one, well, I guess the pilot, really, um, but, like, the original villain of Ninjago is back, and, of course, he forms this really cool face of the temple. Um, now, I just want to show you guys, um, Lord Garmadon, we're actually going to go up close, up here, in depth, as you can see up there, let's zoom in a little bit, there you go, here's the movie minifig, um, but the torso is different. He has ooze spinning out and his ribs are showing. I'm not a fan of that face. I'm, I'm probably going to swap that face, actually. Um, but yeah, he's got his forearms. No weapon. He does have a weapon, um, but you have to take it from the bot down there. Um, but yeah, he has fire next to him. That's how cool is. But you can to reverse the transformation. It's not that hard. You just push down. He's gone. Oh, but he's back. And it's just a... I'm going to show you guys. It's a scissoring point. Um, like a pair of scissors, and um, it just goes like that. And it cuts it like that. And back here, this is the thing that does it. You just move that, and then just move all the gears. So, guys, um, pretty much it for the set. So let's get it in a nice showroom style, and then I'll tell you my uh, thoughts. Okay, guys. So for my recommendations of the set, get this set. If you're only after the free only masks, get this set. If you want Princess and Dago. And the, I guess, guard, yeah, the royal guard. Uh, then get this set. If you want coal, get this set. Uh, you could go eBay, but then not as cool on eBay. Um, obviously, you can get all of the only masks in cheaper ways, but this is the way you can get all of them. And I have all of them. More than one of all of them. Um, of course, I have the other versions. Of course, you get the sacred baby. You can figure out the sacred baby. No one knows where the sacred baby should go. Um... No one knows anything about Sacred Baby. We have seen it, but Sacred Baby. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this review. So leave a like, uh, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.